Hello, so the purpose of this video is to show you guys two new extensions that are being added to uh, your Google Chrome. Uh, if you do not have these extensions, please make sure that you are signed into Chrome uh, and that your sync is turned on. If you do have that done, they should automatically show up. If not, you will have to manually install them. So the first extension we're going to look at is called Nod. What Nod is, is it's a meet extension that adds this little window in the upper left hand corner of your meet calls. Um, so on the left hand side here, I have my teacher account and on the right hand side, I have my student account. So good practice when you're talking, students should mute themselves, right? If a student had a question, they could put it into the chat here, but that kind of requires you to do two things to instruct and monitor the chat. What Nod does is it adds this little guy that a student could press this button right here. And then on the teacher side, you will get a little notification that BCCS has raised their hand. So much like we would have them raise their hand in class, they can do that in a virtual call as well. And this will stay up until you have clicked the X to acknowledge it, uh, at which point then the kid could unmute themselves and talk. Um, another piece of Nod is if you just need a quick reaction. So much like in Slack, how we do thumbs up, we have this right here. A student can click thumbs up. And on your end, okay, cool. They've got it. Ryan's got it. So another way kind of to make sure that everyone is with you and kind of check for understanding real quickly uh, before moving on without having to have all of your students unmute and make a bunch of noise. Um, so that's Nod. It will be pushed out to all teacher accounts um, at the high school to all the student Chromebooks. The challenge with this one is at the middle schools, um, I'll push it out, but it requires the students to sign into Chrome. Um, or if they haven't done that, they will need to manually add it. So I'll also include a direct link for it um, in the Slack message I send you with this. So that way you can share it with your students. Um, just because you installed does not mean that they get it. Um, the second one that I want to show, I'm going to work out of the student account because I haven't done this yet, uh, is an add-on called Meet Attendance. So this one's going to be super helpful for tracking who is in a Meet call. So to use this one, we're going to click on the people. And now in between people and chat, you'll notice this new box that has a little check. The first time you do this, you are going to have to authorize it. So this is what it looks like to authorize it. Choose your account. That's fine. It needs this because it's going to create spreadsheets for you. Go ahead and hit OK. And now when I have this open, I can click on there on the little icon and click the plus sign. And what that does is that creates a spreadsheet for you. You'll know the spreadsheet's created when you have the green uh, check mark show up here. And from here, if I am in the middle of a meet call, I say, okay, I want to take a quick attendance. I click on this button and it's going to open up. Nope. It's going to open up page not found. Okay. So if you get that, that means that you got to reset it, which is down here. Click reset. Click plus. Oh, I know what's up. I have to enter the call again for it to go on. There we go. See, things don't always work right the first time. We'll open up this. We'll click the check mark. Ta-da. And now we'll open up a spreadsheet that gives you a link to the meet, gives you the list of who was there, as well as timestamps it. Um, so the drawbacks on this, it only will pull users who are in the domain. So if a student uses a personal Gmail account to join your meet call, they will not be included in this list. If they use their Corona Charter or Romero Charter, it will be in this list. Um, this list is also not constantly updating. So kind of how we would take attendance normally, maybe when you start the call, okay, everyone ready? Let's take attendance and then have to go back. And if a kid shows up late, just kind of add them to the list. This is a spreadsheet so you can constantly um, add stuff to it as well. So those are two extensions that will be pushed out to you um, that you can start using when we come back from spring break. If you have any questions, let me know. Hope you enjoy your spring break.